Hello, band members. I hope this video finds you well. Um, I know they had um, sent out today a listing of classes and your schedules and whatnot. And I don't know if, if many of y'all had a chance to go through them and start to look at them, but they are out for you all to look through. Now, if you look through it, and I've gotten a couple emails from you guys, and I wanted to send this out. And I was waiting to make sure everything worked out well before I sent this. But we took the 120 or so, 115 of you guys, and we broke you all into three separate classes. Um, I forgot exactly what periods they are. I think it's period eight, two, and three, I believe. Um, so we took and broke you guys into three separate classes of 40 or so kids. Um, and by breaking you all into to, to the, to the three different periods, and you're having a, a, a classroom of 40 kids, it's going to do a couple things. One, it's going to make it a lot easier for us to get to all of you, because I'm going to talk to you all here in a minute and explain our goals with you all for this year. Um, but the other thing which I, I felt would do is by breaking you all into three clusters, then when we come back to some sort of blended model, um, you know, the model where we had half the school on one day, half the school on the other day, um, and I'm assuming at some point we'll go to that to that level, then that would mean there would only be 20 or so of you all on in, in that particular band class on any particular day. Now, the reason why that was significant, which I felt with those numbers, and there's some other precautions that we're going to take, and we'll talk to you all as we get into them, because when we get to that point, there are going to be things that you all are going to need to do, because I the virus is still going to be somewhere um, and we're going to try to keep it out of our space. So you guys will have to um, take some precautionary measures. And as we go over the next few weeks, we'll tell you all what that is and how you all go about doing that. Um, but we'll also, we're going to build little cubes for you all to be in. And we'll give, give you all more details on that so that you would be in the band room. We'd have 20 or so kids um, spread in the room, at it, it minimum six feet apart. Um, and then we, you all would be in some sort of little cube, three-sided cube of some sort. And then also you would have um, some other precautionary measures. So for example, if you're a clarinet player, you would essentially be playing with a pillowcase. And I'm just using this as an analogy, um, a pillowcase of sorts over your clarinet. So we'll go through all those details um, on, on precautionary measures, but soon you guys are going to be the weirdest one. And then we'll have to probably talk to you all about how we can, how we can do that. But obviously with spit airborne spit, and I forgot what those little things are called, little air spit cubes, whatever they're called. I'm not a scientist, but um, as much of protection to be able to catch any of that, that goes into the air. Also, there's some other precautionary measures we were talking about too. Uh, with some sort of air filtration system, us maybe purchasing something in some capacity that would help uh, clean the air as well. So um, when, when we come back, I want to play with you all um, in a full group setting. Obviously, in this capacity, we cannot do that. Um, Miss, Miss Brown and the middle school directors did a, a middle school band camp, and they kind of tried to play, but it didn't really work. There was too much lag, and it just did not um, wasn't really feasible. However, um, with us breaking you all to smaller groups, Mr. Kram and I are assigned, assigned, the two of us are assigned to each group. So that's going to give us uh, an opportunity to get to every single one of you all every week. So you're going to be playing for us, either individually or in a group, every single week. Now, um, in, in any band program, and this is, this is my belief and probably any director, the biggest commodity that we have, the best thing that we have, the greatest thing that we have are you, the kids. And um, in, in my mind, whatever steps that we can do, whatever steps that we can take to help improve you and make you a better musician through this time period, it's going to be the most invaluable thing that we can do for the betterment of the band program and the betterment of everything that we do for everybody. We had some friends that are in the symphony and, and there were people that were talking to them and they, they said to them like, Oh my gosh, the symphony is going to be so horrible when you guys finally get back together. I bet you're going to sound really bad. And then this, 
person responded and said, no, actually, the symphony is going to sound really, really good because a lot of the symphony players have the opportunity to work on skills and fundamentals and things that they just don't have time for when they're always preparing for the next concert, always preparing for the next event. And that kind of happens to us at the high school. You know, when you look at our schedule, we're normally very crazy, really busy. And the opportunity that we have to work on certain types of fundamental things, certain types of soloistic playing, we just don't have the time to get to it. We may start it and then all of a sudden, oh no, we look at things and we're like, we are out of time. That enemy time is catching up with us and we have got to do something. So I think um, this situation, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of excited about it because, um, you know, I'm kind of a fundamentals maniac. I mean, I like love basics and fundamentals and, 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 and all that stuff when it comes to playing and you all being our greatest commodity, you're the things and the people and the ones that I want to make better in this whole process. So we um, are kind of implementing a few things. So one of the biggest things that we're going to do for everybody in the program and even for you guys who are at home as well, for you guys who are doing Melville at home, um, we are going to, through the, the band budget, we're going to purchase um, smart music for everybody in the band. And I think our smart music fee um, allows you to get the basic student rate, student um, smart music. And then if you guys want it to, and it's up to you, you won't really need to. If you wanted to upgrade, you could yourself. And there's like an extra small fee to upgrade that for the year. But your subscription for smart music will be for the year. Now, there's a number of different types of things on smart music. There's um, all types of different exercises, all types of different scales, all types of different fundamental things. You, uh, there's solos on there. Um, there's a lot of different opportunity of things that we're, we're looking forward to really exploring. You all probably, in, in a lot of cases, did some of that in middle school. But in, in my vision, hopefully, is that you know we're going to expand it even more. And in some cases... I mean, to be honest with you, Mr. Kramer and I will probably be learning smart music along with some of you. So we may be a step ahead of you, maybe. Um, so that's kind of the hope. Um, so with us buying smart music for everybody, um, there's going to be certain expectations that we go along with that. So in this capacity, what we're going to see you all, I'm going to expect you all to practice. I'm going to expect you all to, to continue to grow, to continue to improve, I'm going to have, there's going to be accountability for you all. Um, and, and I'm not quite sure how the week is going to look. We're going to kind of work through that. But it may not mean that you're going to come to every single class every single day. Um, you know, there, there could be some capacity while well, you're coming on this day and you're working with uh, me or Mr. Kramer for a period of time. And then on the next period, we're giving you all to practice and then we're going to see you the next period. So we're going to work through that schedule. We just got all this schedule stuff today. So we're going to kind of work through and look at it and see what what would be most feasible. Um, exactly when we would kick that off, it's probably going to be a week or so. Um, so once we kind of got things finalized and got things situated, and you know, that's, that's probably how it's going to evolve. We had, um, so with this, we're going to focus on different aspects of your playing that beyond just the band setting. Now, you could, if you wanted to, there are certain band pieces that are on smart music. Uh, and I, I think there were some of you, you guys who did this through the through last year when smart music gave it to you for free, uh, that some of you all made videos of you playing different pieces that we had been playing in band. Um, I know Brian Johnson, uh, who was it? I can't remember who did that. Somebody, somebody sent me a video of them playing... Um, dance of the new world. I can't remember who that was, but you know, it, it, um, it, it, it lends itself for, for a good opportunity for us. So we will, um, listen to you all weekly and what we have set up and I'll give you more details on this. We'll send you a video on Friday with more details and, and emails and stuff, but we have a separate room set up for you all. One is, for example, third block band, it's going to be my room. One is third block with Mr. Kramer's room. 
So once we get this schedule up and rolling, that would be the room that you would go to when you check in and then you would play for me or Mr. Kramer, whoever's there. Um, also for some of you drum guys, um, we have a room set up for Coop and um, you know, obviously we can't play as a drum line with Coop, but the, the idea was that he can work on fundamentals with you all. He can work on aspects of playing and, you know, using, uh, using the video opportunities, the technology, I, th I think it can be pretty positive and a pretty positive experience for us. Um, I know the, the kiddos who did the summer band camp, the middle school kids, I, I think it was a positive experience for them. Miss Brown, you know, talked about it. I was around for some of it, but I think the kiddos who did it, and I think it was worthwhile for them to do. So that's in essence what we're looking at doing. Um, we will send out videos probably Monday with more details on how, on, um, how we're going to access those rooms and where you're supposed to go in uh, the Google Meet. Uh, let's see. I am actually, how do I say this? Uh, through this process, there are things that I'm very negative about and I'm very down about. But the one thing that I think I'm really excited about, and this this goes is, is to the core of everything that I believe about you all playing an instrument and you all being here, we have the opportunity to help improve you. So a lot of times in band, you know, we'll have a hundred of you guys in there and I can't possibly get to every single one of you. It is not physically possible. Um, but in this situation, I will be able to hear you all. Mr. Kramer will be able to hear you all every week. And that's a very powerful component. You're going to feel pressure to improve and rightfully so. And we're going to feel pressure to do a better job for you. So that's what I hope we get out of this experience. That's what I hope um, happens. Um, there are some other things that are still in the works. I think they're still looking at doing either um, like a virtual, maybe just on paper, all suburban band, uh, maybe even just a virtual all state band, just on paper. So that um, could be possibilities. I'm hoping in the future, um, and I have heard details on this, that it, it could be a solo ensemble as well. And if we have smart music and you guys are doing smart music, you're, you're playing solos because I'm envisioning you all working on solos that are on the state list that, that could be viable, um, that even better yet. So even though this situation may be perceived negative, I really feel like at the end of the day, it's going to give us a greater opportunity to improve you and give you that opportunity to to get better where, where we can actually focus on you individually. Like I said, the symphony people, um, you know, we're, we're actually excited over their time because they can develop themselves as players and they feel like the symphony when they come back is going to be even stronger than it was. And that's what I hope for you all. So um, I, I know uh, there are some of you all, and I'm not quite sure, I haven't looked through the schedule closely. There are some of you all that are set up at home so if you guys who are set up at home and you get this, just send me an email or Mr. Kramer an email to let us know that you're an at-home person. Now, if it gets to a point where we come back to school, um, my understanding was that you all, if you wanted to, could come up to school on, on the band day if you want it. Um, you know, it, it, whatever, you know, worked out with your schedule and that sort of thing. So you guys who are at home, I want you doing this with us. I want you improving with us. And um, I don't want you all left out of any of these opportunities. So um, as well, you guys, even if you're at home, we're still going to purchase uh, smart music for you all. But I don't see who you are on our schedule. So if you guys are at home, people, please email us and let us know. So um, definitely next this this coming year is going to be different. Um, it's it's definitely going to be one of those things. You know, I, I'm really just kind of sick of being negative. So and I'm not going to lie to you. I've been very negative through a lot of this myself personally. And I haven't really voiced this to a lot of you all, to a lot of people, but I have been very negative and I'm really just kind of sick and tired of being negative. So I'm to a point where I want to get back and I want to get, get moving and I want things to get to a point of being positive again. So um, that's how I feel. And, you know, that's what we're going to work towards. So you guys who are in this voyage with us, um, you're going to have to be ready to, to work on making things positive because there's enough negative things. 
You know, this whole situation, you can say, oh, my God, this is horrible. It's not the same. You're right. It's not. But at the same time, I'm really sick of being negative and I'm sick of having negativity all around me. So, um, you know, our goal is going to be to make things positive. And to me, the most positive thing is going to be to improve you and to make you better. So I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. I'm going to push you. I'm going to expect things out of you. If you're not pulling your weight, I'm going to be crabby at you. So, you know, you guys can do this. And, um, you know, it, it, if anything, it'll just it'll be fun. And just think of it as a sign of love. If You know, if I haven't yelled at you all in six months, then, you know, it's, it's something you've missed. So we're back and we're going to go after it. And I hope you all have a good weekend. And then we will contact you all with a video on Monday going through some specifics. We'll probably send some emails out. So be looking for some of that and we'll be ready to go on Tuesday. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye.